This is one of the caves that you can see visually. This is what's left of two ancient rock shelters in Jukan Gorge in remote Western Australia, after being destroyed as part of an iron ore exploration project. And the um, artifacts and how they've been dated back to over 46,000 years, um, it, it's something that we, we will always remember. And traditionally we hand that down to the next generation, but in this, this case we won't have anything to show the next generation. An Australian parliamentary committee has ordered Rio Tinto to pay restitution to the traditional owners, saying it knew the value of what it was destroying, but blew it up anyway. But it's not just happening at Jukan Gorge. The damage from three decades of Rio Tinto's copper and gold mining here on Papua New Guinea's Bougainville Island is extensive. Even though mining at this site has since stopped, Theolona Roka Metpub, a local parliament member, says the effects are devastating for the indigenous population. This was a huge lake with some people around here were using for fishing. And then this was the place that they relied heavily on to catch fish for food. Until 2019 when the sediments from Panguna started changing course and then with the flow of the water as well it buried the massive area we're seeing here at the background and it's not yet done. In the United States in July, a district court ordered Energy Transfer LP to shut down their 570,000 barrel per day Dakota Access oil pipeline. Starting operations in 2017, it ran directly through the Bakken Shale Basin, the ancient lands of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, and threatened their water source. But in Brazil, indigenous people fighting for their way of life is becoming increasingly difficult. Earlier this year, President Jair Bolsonaro passed a law which allows commercial mining on protected indigenous lands. Bolsonaro was also criticized for saying indigenous people in Brazil were living like animals in zoos. That's made the leader of the Brazilian Caiapo indigenous people even more committed to his fight. White man named Bolsonaro, take advantage of your term because my fight is for an entire lifetime. Bolsonaro, unlike politicians in other countries that have indigenous populations, says he won't allow any more indigenous land rights claims and will review existing ones as well. Steps, if taken, could severely impact the lives of indigenous people and the environment as well. Obey Dehito, TRT World.